Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hi, Finland. Hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. We are so glad that you are here with us. We can't wait to dive in more into Finland. Yeah, we um we started last week. We took a look at Lapland and um, they showed us second of Helsinki's airport. Mm -hmm. And then they went a little bit to Estonia. Um, that was surprising and yet cool. But we really, really loved that video. Oh my Everything gosh. Everything was beautiful. We got to see Santa Claus Village. <laughs> we had to get that in before Christmas. Oh, the Everything about it was amazing. That is definitely, um, you know, I've heard so many people say that that was on their bucket list. Mm -hmm. We had never seen it. It's now on our bucket list. And um, it everything about it was beautiful, breathtaking. Just and I would love stunning. to go. Yes. Yeah. It, so far, what little section we've seen mm -hmm. is stunning. So what we're going to do today is look at Geography Now, Finland. And we do these with every new country we, uh, we, we start to learn about and give us a little information that we mm -hmm. otherwise have not, none of. And so that's what we're excited to do. And before we get into that, if you don't mind, please hit the like button. It helps uh, the videos and consider subscribing to the channel. It's free and mm -hmm. all it does is help push out more content to you like this. So exactly. if you like this kind of thing, then make sure you subscribe so yeah. you can get more. Yeah. And we'd love to have you join this dysfunctional family that is us. <laughs> so we're excited to learn about Finland and um, we're going to, you know, see what this video tells us. And as always in the comments, though, you let us know what else we need to know. Um, mm -hmm. We rely on you guys more than the videos a lot of the times. Exactly. Yeah. We need to know what to look at next, what you want us to take a closer, deeper look at. Yes. And stuff that other people don't necessarily look right. at. We like to look at the stuff that everybody else kind of ignores, mm -hmm. you know, but um, Geography Now, Finland, um, Geography Now gives a lot of great information. So hoping that they're doing the same here and excited to learn with you. Ah, Finland. Reindeer. Whoa. This is too much coming at me at once. A lot. Oh, uh, let's talk about this place that I totally have no preconceived biases towards. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to learn geography. No! Hey everybody, I'm your host Barbie. Welcome to the dark sheep of Northern Europe. All the other Nordic countries are like... La, 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 la. While Finland is like... <laughs> we'll get into the heavy metal thing in a bit. What? But first... <laughs> Okay. Now just remember, Finland is Nordic, but don't call it Scandinavian. There's a oh. huge difference. That oh. title only belongs to Sweden, Denmark, and Norway. First of all, Finland oh, is located okay. in Northern Europe, lying on the Gulf of Finland and the Gulf of Bothnia, east of all that Scandinavian stuff. To the west, they border Sweden on the Torne River, or the Tornionjoki, until it reaches the tri-point border with Norway at the three-country Cairnstone. And to the okay. east, they border big old Russia, that with another tri-point border with Norway that looks like this. The country is divided into 19 regions, or Makunta, with the autonomous region that we'll talk about a little bit later, and the capital of Helsinki, located in the south on the Gulf of Finland, which okay. is also the second most northern capital in the world after Reykjavik, Iceland. Yes, the country also owns about 180,000 yeah. islands, the highest concentration of which Jeez. found in the Baltic off the coast in the Oland Archipelago. Keep in mind, parts of Finland also lie within the Arctic Circle. That's how far up north they are. And the three busiest airports are Helsinki, Oulu, and Rovaniemi. Now my favorite Hell part, territory! <laughs> the three busiest airports- No, I've seen that place um, mentioned in mm -hmm. some other videos that we're going to be looking at. And I, I know we've had some people in the comments from there. By the way, if you are in Finland, please say hi in the comments and join us on our Facebook page. Absolutely. We'd love to get to know you and pick your brains too. Mm -hmm. So I want to see if I can pronounce that with him. Ports are Helsinki, Oulu, and Rovaniemi. Now I got to hear that. I can't fast forward it or rewind it. Sorry, just a tiny bit. Uh -huh. It's five seconds. I may not be able to try it. One more time, sorry. That's how sorry. far up north they are. And the three busiest airports are Helsinki, Oulu, and Rovaniemi. Now Roven in me. I, I think I messed that up. Uh, pretty good to me. I didn't hear him yeah. say it enough times. I did go through it pretty quickly. I need him to be faster. <laughs> not faster, louder, sorry. Yes. I, I'm not going to try to butcher your names too much because if I do try to pronounce them, I will butcher them. But I want to try to learn <laughs> a little bit, but that was hard. Sorry. 
Now my favorite part, territorial anomalies. First of all, with Russia, there are too many split islands in Penne enclaves. The islands of Aikanyami and Sursari, Tarasin Sari Islands and Lakes, the islands in the Koitayoki River. Seriously, just play around with Google Earth and see how many you can find. Finally, we get to Sweden and things get interesting. Most of the borders with Sweden run along rivers that eventually flow into the Torne River. And then we get a strange golf course that is split between the two countries in the town of Torne <laughs> That's and cool. Sweden. Not only that, but then you have the strange Market Island right next to Oland in the Gulf of Bothnia, which has an inverted S-shaped border. It had to do with the lighthouse that was built belonging Weird. to Finland, but then Sweden was like, hey, it's too close to our side of the island. So they drew a border that was like this to give each Seriously? side equal shares of the land. Interesting. Okay. The Pelago cluster of islands right here, yeah, it belongs to Finland, even though most of the people here speak Swedish. Oland is Finland's strange little administrative anomaly. Long story short, it used to belong to Sweden, but then the Russians took over it in addition to Finland. But then after the Russian Revolution, Finland became free, and then the UN decided Oland Poland should belong to Finland with autonomy. But then the Soviets started okay. attacking again, and then Finland was like, nope, and then fought back relentlessly defending themselves and Oland, and Sweden just kind of sat there and didn't really do much for Oland as they decided to stay neutral. Finland defending Oland was kind of like the turning point. Now it's kind of like, Oland, come back to me. Look, Sweden, we had some great times, but you kind of really didn't do much for me when things got crazy. I mean, Finland defended me, okay? And he treats me well, okay? His tax incentives are great. It's, it's time to move on. It's not me. It's you. Wow. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oland. Also, Finland kind of threatened that if Oland was ceded back to Sweden, they would demand the Tornio Valley. Now, before the whole Soviet thing, oh. Finland operated the regions of Karelia, Sala, Kusamo, Petsamo, and some extra islands in the Gulf. After the wars with the Soviets, these regions were all ceded back to Russia, effectively cutting off their access to the Arctic Ocean. Very quickly, some notable sites and landmarks would have wow. to be the old castles like Savonlina, Hamenlina. There's a lot of notable sites and landmarks that, would have to be the old castles like Savonlina. I think we need to take a look at these castles. Uh, I, I love castles, <laughs> if you don't know that about me. Um, this is, wow. where is this though? I mean, I have no idea where this is. This is it, beautiful. It definitely is beautiful. That is stunning. I like when they're surrounded by the water like that. I love geography now, but um, as he goes down the alphabet lower, he does longer videos uh -huh. and he slows them down. Unfortunately, Finland is in the upper end of the alphabet, mm -hmm. so he's going faster. He does um, go very fast. Yeah, because when we just did Sweden, um, that one was a longer video, mm -hmm. and it was much much more drawn out, and much yes. more slow. He's going very quick in this one, mm -hmm. so um, not our faults. <laughs> but I am getting a good amount of information in here at the same time. A ton. Yeah, it's a lot, but you might, this is a video where we're, we're gonna do it ourselves. We'll watch it back again. Definitely. And if you want more information, I would recommend you'd watch it back again as well. But that is beautiful, so. Had to stop and look at that. Hamenlina, Olavinlina. Oh no, hold on. Have to be the hold old up. castles like Savonlina, right. Hamenlina, Olavinlina. Olavinlina, maybe. That's gorgeous That's beautiful. Too. Okay. They're all stunning. I'm um, gonna fall in love, I already know. And the most renowned Suomen Lina. You can probably oh. guess what Lina means by now. Rovaniemi is otherwise known as the home of Santa Claus, where you can go reindeer sledding. Inari and Ivalo is where you can get a real Sami traditional cultural experience. Of course, Helsinki is the epicenter wow. of Finnish architecture and culture, wow. with landmarks such as the Tempeli Aukia Church excavated into a rock. Wow. Mannerheim Street, the busiest road with all the shops and austere post Soviet influence blocky colored oh, cool. buildings, or the iconic Helsinki Cathedral. Now, Never those are Great, but Finland isn't really much of a tight metropolitan type of country. They love their space and have quite a bunch of it. Let's see what lies outside huh. these cities, shall we? Yes. Would you hate us if we did a video on Helsinki? Now, if you want me to make this simple, some would argue that Finland is the best winter wonderland wow. in the world. I mean, mm -hmm. Canada's cool, but they have too many bears, and Iceland is too explodey, and Russia is too... Explody. Cold. Seriously, Bill. The land is generally flat, except in the north by the border with Norway, in which the highest mountain can be found, Mount Halti, although the peak is in Norway. However, in mm. 2017, Norway plans to give Finland the peak for their 100th anniversary of independence from the Soviets. Finland. Yeah, this video is like okay. seven years old, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. So, um, is that Finland right there? I sure hope so, because it's absolutely stunning. I don't care where it is. I just, I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Norway plans to give Finland the peak for their 100th anniversary of independence from the Soviets. Finland is just wonderfully crisp and refreshing, it is. usually ranking in the top wow. three countries in the world with the cleanest air quality. This is partially wow. because Finland is almost 80% covered in forests, one of the oh, highest concentrations nice. per square kilometer in the world, only behind countries like Gabon and Suriname. This makes Finland the largest producer of wood in the EU and one of the top in the world. Not only that, but Finland has about 188,000 lakes, most heavily concentrated Jeez. in Lakeland, and in addition to lakes, 
About 10% of the country is comprised of all water bodies like rivers, ponds, and streams. How much percentage? When mixed, about 10% of the country is okay. comprised of all water bodies like rivers, beautiful. ponds, and streams. When mixed with the land, this makes about one third of the country home to swamps and bogs, making it the highest wetland proportion country in Europe and disputably the world. Yeah, really? Maybe, but yeah. our floods are crazier. <laughs> Fittingly, the name for swamp in Finnish is suol, and the word for suol. Finland is suomi. I mean, technically, they also have like nine other words for swamp, like rame, neva, leto, luta, laiteko, apa, paisa, yanka, and korpi. And they love these swamps. One Finnish pastime is jumping in the mud, sometimes naked, <laughs> and either playing soccer or wrestling. The landscape of Finland is shaped that way because imagine what happens when you crush something under a heavy glacier for a really long time, and then after the glacier melts, you're left with pockety erosion and mineral residue all over. Not only okay. that, but Finland is experiencing a post-glacial rebound in which the land is steadily rising along the coast of the Gulf of Bothnia. Every year, Finland gains about mm. seven square kilometers and is technically rising out of the sea. The longest really? river is the Kemijoki that passes Kemijoki. through Lapland and reaches the Gulf of Bothnia. And the okay. largest lake, as well as the fourth largest in Europe, Lake Saima, is located in the southeast. Because Finland is so far north... I had no idea about all these lakes. I, I didn't know. Really yeah, cool. this is shocking to me. And then I was just thinking with all the the freezing and the swampiness, all the wetland. Mm -hmm. I remember, I think I read it in a comment on the last video about mosquitoes. Are they really yeah. that bad? Yeah. Because we were both kind of like, really? Yeah, because our mosquitoes are horrible. Uh, we have a lot of humidity in the summer here where we live. It's really bad humidity. But if it's that wet and swampy, yeah, I could see that I definitely could, yeah, happening and being I an issue. I agree. Um, but yeah, these lakes, I'm a lake person. I say it all the time. Forget the beaches. I like the lakes, I like the mountains. I like um, mm -hmm. I like the big, the forests and stuff. So just like Norway and Sweden, Finland. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it makes me wonder about the fishing situation then. We got to talk fishing in all these countries. <laughs> no, that's true. I'm glad you brought yeah. that up. Okay, that is to be continued at a later date. Mm -hmm. So if we have any fishermen or fisherwomen in the comments of, we need to hear from you. Join us on Facebook. <laughs> as well as the fourth largest in Europe, Lake Saima is located in the southeast. Because Finland is so far north, they are known for being the land of the midnight sun, as during summer you can literally see the sun for 24 hours a day in the northern parts by the Arctic Circle. Sweden and of too. course in the winter times there's hardly That's any sunlight beautiful. at all, but if you're lucky you can witness an aurora borealis, especially in the northern parts. Oh and by the way, the national animals are the whooper swan and the brown bear. Finnish agriculture is of course very standard for northern European countries, lots of rye wheat, turnips, potatoes, and of course fishing is huge out here. However, due to the abundance of lakes and rivers, Finns prefer their own domestic freshwater fish like perch, zander, and miyuku as opposed to the sea fish. Speaking of which, okay. coming to Finland, chances are you will eventually try reindeer meat in some shape or form, whether in stew or grilled. In Lapland, you might even find bear on the menu. You can try mami, a pudding made of rye, and of course, every Finn will make every visitor try the strong, salty salmiaki. They love salmiaki so much that they made it into an ice cream, and it's so good, and I'm so mad they don't sell it in my hometown. Really? Right. You like that? Time they built ice hotels and there's like this cool waterfall awesome. in the Paratisi Kuru area That's in beautiful. Uru Kekkonen National Park. Okay, let's talk about Finnish people. Yeah, so let's. Okay, if you go to Finland, you will most likely experience a rather intense yet intriguing social construct. First of all, the country has about 5.5 million people and is the most sparsely populated country in the EU. Really? The country is about 90% wow. ethnically Finnish, about 6% are Swedish, and the rest is made up of everything else under the sun, like Russians, Estonians, Asians, and Africans. They use the euro as currency, they use the type CEF outlets, and they drive on the right side of the road. Yes! Of course, the Finnish people- <laughs> Thank you again! <laughs> the UK gets mad at us, and so does Australia, but God bless you, and Norway, and Sweden. We'll be able to drive there. Yes. Oh. In the summer. I was just going to say, you just not said in the last the video you're not driving. Not on the snow. I don't I know. know. Do you guys put chains on your tires? I'm sure they do. I don't or know. spikes. They, they may not. Spikes. They may be like, you know what? They could. They we could we be got like, this. We don't need these. those chains. <laughs> we don't need no chains. Pretty sure they have chains. Just spikes. snowmobiles. How many Something. people own a snowmobile? That's my question. Mm. I want to know. Because that stuff is Probably just... easier to drive than a car. Um, depending on Sometimes. the winter, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. I'm just happy about the right side of the road thing. Uh-huh. <sighs> Good deal. They use the euro as currency, they use the type CEF <laughs> outlets, and they drive on the right side of the road. Of course, the Finnish people speak the Finnish language, which is arguably one of the hardest languages on earth to learn. Really? Conjugation is a mess. Nouns and adjectives have inflectionary forms whatever that means. Nonetheless, Finland has one of the best schooling systems in the world. In Finland, school hours are shorter, less homework is given, and I there are virtually no mandated standardized tests apart from the exam you take in your final senior year of high school. That's also, if you get your PhD, you have the option to get a sword and a top hat along with your diploma. This is also That's why cool. Finland is one of the most English... <laughs> 
can I still come there and get a PhD just for the sword? I know. And why and would that be hat? optional? Why wouldn't you opt for it? Did he say that was optional? Yeah. How many have that? <laughs> I want that top hat, that top hat yeah, and that I sword. That's cool as heck. Look at that. They look awesome. Uh -huh. And also terrifying. They have a little bit of both, but it looks a bit more funerally. Awesome. More awesome. It looks a bit funerally. But it looks really cool. It, it is does. so cool. That alone is a reason to get a PhD. It is. I'm just saying. PhD, get one. you have the option to get a sword and a top hat along with your diploma. This is also why Finland is one of the most English friendly countries in Europe. Children are taught around ages 9 to 11, and most people of the younger generation can at least hold an impressively fluid conversation. Finland is actually a conscription country in which all men ages 18 and really? up are required to serve either in the military or civilian services anywhere from 165 days to a year, depending on the type of service applied for. Interesting. Poland mm -hmm. islands are exempt from the military conscription, but okay. are required to serve in some kind of institution like the coast. Guard or civil services. Okay. Finnish culture is actually pretty funny. The stereotype is that Finns are incredibly quiet and don't talk that much in most public transactions. Just mind your business and no small talk. The cartoon Finnish Why? Nightmares illustrates this concept pretty well. Check it out. But Which I is love funny. small talk. You do. I really do because that's how I get to know people, become friends with people. Mm -hmm. If you're out shopping, she will strike up a conversation with you. Yeah, so I've, I've made some really good friends on you that. You have. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't like small talk in the context of actually knowing somebody already. Mm -hmm. You know, I like more deeper conversations. Yes, exactly. But, oh, so would I be totally like told to shut up over there? Be honest, because mm. I'm gonna want to small talk with you. Let me know. That'll make me sad. And no small talk. The cartoon Finnish Nightmares illustrates this concept pretty well. Check it out. Which is funny because Finland is huge on the boisterous, loud, and flashy heavy metal culture. Really? Having the highest concentration of heavy metal bands out of any other country in the world what? with nearly 650 huh. per 1 million residents. Finns wow. also invented the wife carrying competition in which a man what? must carry <laughs> either his wife or girlfriend or any girl that agrees to get tossed around in an obstacle course and the winner gets the women's weight in beer. It's very strategic what? because if you want- Get on. Let's go. This is come on, get up uh, here. I think we need to. Find okay, we them. both know that I'll if anyone else that knows our show, I will be getting on your back. Exactly. You I'll will be crush carrying. everybody. That is hilarious. Yeah, that's I love this. Cool. That angle is funny. Uh, really? Yeah, not what okay. flattering at all. It's but, hilarious you know, though. I like <laughs> <laughs> She's just a backpack. Poor thing, she's gonna drown. She's just hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Things you didn't know. Exactly. Rounded an obstacle course and the winner gets the women's weight in beer. It's very strategic because if you want to win, you might want to carry a lighter wife, but if you want more beer, whew, you better do your squats, bro. So do people <laughs> marry based off the, do people get married to women based off like, you look carryable. I'm yeah, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> know one thing about Finnish culture you have to know about sauna. The Finns invented the sauna. Most homes, hotels, and apartments have a sauna built into them. That's they actually had a That's sauna competition at one point, but then a Russian guy died and they had to kind of cancel it. Overall, oh, wow. though, Finns are kind of brought up in a mindset known as sisu. It's kind of hard sisu. to explain the exact definition of it, but it kind of means something like guts or determination and never giving up, which really helped them along the fight with the Soviets. Sisu is to Finland what Jantaloten is to Denmark. There are so many other mm. things I wish we could talk about, but we're running out of time. But we do have time for friend time. Historically, Finland was kind of always a little lonely. I mean, few, if any, trading routes ever went through this area. Really? Even the Mongols were like, eh, we're good. Nah, yeah, carry on. Nonetheless, over time, <laughs> Finland did develop relations and to this day is one of the most diplomatically outreached countries in the world. I mean, the Finnish passport is the number one ranked and most sought after as it has the highest number of visa-free countries applied to it. Oh, First wow. of all, Finland oh. generally gets along with other Nordic countries. However, they have the biggest frenemy relationship with Sweden. They'll trade and share a beer or two, but when hockey season comes, the bloodbath begins. <sighs> When it comes to Russia, Finland kind of has to be their friend because Russia has the longest border with them and business is important. Nonetheless, Russia is kind of seen as like the next door neighbor that you once got into an argument with, but then you kind of fix things up, but then you kind of really didn't get over it. And then you have to see them every other day in the morning as you go to work. Germans are always welcome in Finland and Hungarians are like the long lost distant cousins that they just discovered and are trying to build a relationship with. Their best friends though might be Estonia and Norway. Everybody loves Norway. It's like the Cameroon of Europe. Norway has never had any controversy with Finland 
Ukraine, and with the recent mountain gift proposal, relations are only strengthened. Estonia is like the nagging little sister that tries to imitate her bigger brother. I mean, they both even have the same national anthems. But in the end, they are family, and Finland always loves her. In conclusion, Finland really is a winter wonderland, with quiet people that transform into metal monsters after a pint of long drink, topping their days off, baking themselves in human ovens for fun. And with that, we finish the Finnish episode. Ah, you waited for that for over 10 minutes. Well, I'm a little sad by how short that was in the that sections was. that he added in later on when he started doing these videos, like further down the alphabet, mm -hmm. like they weren't there. Like, so we're gonna have to find another video, but I, it's a good basis foundation. Again, it's mm -hmm. older. Was I right about the seven year thing? Um, yeah, unfortunately I was seven years ago. Um, but, uh, it's good to get a foundation of, of an idea on Finland because I, mm -hmm. again, we knew nothing coming into this. We um, sure didn't, but no. I think that's a great start. It gave us a couple it things is. to look into and hopefully you will give us some suggestions in the comments of what you would like us to look at yeah. about Finland. I want to learn more though about like Finnish uh, inventions, things mm -hmm. like that, that I guarantee we probably use every day and we don't know. Yeah. Um, I want to get in more of the culture. Yep. I was just going to say that next. Exactly. And I want to see more places too. Uh-huh. But again, this is what we want to do. You tell us what you want us to do and what we should look at because we don't know what we don't know. Exactly. Um, so I get looking at the the scenery he did show in the castles and things. Wow. Yeah, definitely the castles. Definitely. Super interesting. The lakes, the lakes, the lakes, the lakes. Mm -hmm. No idea. Want to get into more on this fishing thing. Um, not just with Finland, but Norway and Sweden too. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I find it all to be very fascinating, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And, um, we have a lot to look at and we, we hope do. that you're going to join us on that journey. Yeah. And in the comments, let us know if you are worldwide Wednesdays are fun. And we get to look at, um, some stuff about, you know, different countries for mm -hmm. a little while. Yeah. Um, and, uh, it's, it is a lot of fun. I want to know about that small talk though. Let me know if that, I mean, I'm worried about that. How much would I be hated? I need to know. <laughs> I hope that you guys didn't hate this episode. So please hit that like button if you did and consider subscribing to the channel again. We'd love to have you on. And again, I'm just going to say it for the third time, please join us over on our Facebook page where we can talk with you one-on-one, -on -one, get to know more about you and pick your brains. Hopefully we'll um, see you there. We can chat more. We'd love that. So until the next episode, guys, please, as always, love like Jess. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.